All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And um, yeah, I just wanted to do this lesson because, as I titled it, this is why the Most High, right, is, is going to have to kill, you know, and reason being in this in this you know today you got a lot of and i just remember because uh, i believe on sunday you know you had these these uh group of guys these two guys uh they were uh um with uh uh some you know these christians that's i'm gonna just call them that they were christians and came up they were like oh you know can we can we you know just spare a few minutes of your time and so on and so forth and this dude is gonna open his mouth and say well you know i know we know that there's a god and we believe that there's a god but the Bible actually says that there's God the Father and God the Mother. And I'm, 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 you know, I'm at first I'm just, you know, I'm standing there, I'm, I'm like, all right, whatever, you know, God the God the Father and God the Mother. So I had to look up at him, you know, and I was I was very close to walking away, but the Spirit had me stay a bit, you know. Now, as as they as he's they're spewing this madness. You know, talking about, well, yeah, how was Shai's second return? He's already come and God, and, and you know, it's just, you know, I'm sitting here meditating and it's all coming back. And I'm, you know, I started getting a little infuriated because there's just so much BS, confusion and madness out here that Jake is just into. And you would think that after all these years, all these generations of the Most High telling us the same thing. The same thing. You would think that these stupid, dumbass Israelites would finally get the message. That they will finally get the memo and say, yo, hold up. Let's, why, why the hell are we doing all this shit? Why, why do Jake want to do everything else but what the Lord has commanded them to do? And that's what it says in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. We have wearied ourselves in wickedness and gone into ways where there, where there was no path rather than the ways of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So how is the Lord going to get his respect? How is the Lord going to finally say, look, boom, this is it. He, the Lord is going to need to put a lot of people to death because through fear, people are going to, their, their eyes are finally going to be opened, you know? And it, it's going to be no more of that debate shit, no more of, oh, I believe this or I believe that or maybe they, they, they know maybe you are nothing, all right? It's just going to be Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and that's it. And if you're not down with the ways of the Lord, you're going to be put to death. Straight up and down. And there's going to be no mercy. And as people are calling all these different gods and all their different faiths and so on and so forth, the Most High is going to be putting them to, putting them to death that much more. Because it's, it's, so, it's so ridiculously infuriating that even as the prophecies of the book are being fulfilled before our eyes, you still got Jake acting like, they, like they're just oblivious to it. They can't refute that the prophecies are being fulfilled, but yet they still go on talking shit. And I think about it that if I get, you know, if, if I or other brothers or other believers of the hopeful elect get this pissed off at it, how much more for the, the Most High himself? Because we get pissed when Jake come up with this stupid shit concerning our power, you know? But how much more for our power himself? How, how pissed off, you know, how pissed off do you, do you think he gets? So this is the book of Isaiah chapter 1. And, and hey, man, these scriptures are so on point. Because that's ex it, it describes Jake to a T. And at first, when you come into the truth, you know, you hear certain things and it may sound a little harsh. It may sound like, like damn, Most High's going to be killing people like that? Damn, if they don't believe the Most High's going to, like, kill them, though? Now you, you understand perfectly. Matter of fact, you, you, you urge the Most High on, like, Lord, just bring the judgment. You know, because you, you understand why the scriptures say the Lord has to do what he has to do. The Lord doesn't take pleasure in just destroying his people, but... Jacob left the Most High with no other option. There needs to be a global reset of Israelites. And it's going to be either through the spirit and the word, or it's going to be through destruction. 
And that's why when the judgment comes, it's going to be without mercy. Because the Most High cannot show mercy to these wicked Israelites. Not during the time of judgment. They need to understand the fullness of the consequences of their actions. Of even just uttering stupidity. You know? Not being careful with the things you're saying concerning Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because the Most High loves to be praised. He, do, he, he The scriptures say you can't go far enough when it comes to praising the Lord. So if you can't go far enough in praising the Lord, and yet you got people disrespecting the Lord, trying to give the Most High's credit to other gods, you know, trying to talk down on the, on the scriptures, you know, on the Most High, on the God of the Israelites, clearly you don't know who Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is. And that's why, how is the Lord going to make his appearance? How is he going to make his entrance? By mass death and casualties. And, then, and that's why we're constantly praying that the Lord pop this thing off. So that all these people can shut the hell up and just go, just eat their words and then eat some missiles on top of that. So this is Isaiah chapter 1, verse 2. Actually, yeah, verse 2. And it says, Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord hath spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. All right? And that's exactly what Jacob done. They have rebelled against, we have rebelled against Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, but Lord willing, we're of the elect, we're coming back. But you got Jake, that the Lord took you, cleaned you up, raised you, decided to be, of all everybody else, decided to choose you, but they have rebelled. But for what cause? Vanity. For what cause did you change it? What did the Lord say? He said, um, damn, I forgot how he said it, but he said, can a can a uh uh a, a, a nation change their gods or a, a zebra spots or stripes and so on and so forth? But you got Jake, they just in every, they into every, all types of shit. But when it comes to this truth, it's a whole different issue. It's a whole different story. That's why Yahweh is not coming to play games. That's why he said, look, if they don't want to hear it, bring. The, I want to see you bring them here and put them to death before me. That's why when the Lord puts that spirit on us and he turns us up and he starts putting hell upon these streets. Because all Jake likes to do is vanity. Vexation. They can't think right. They can't think ahead. It's always the next stupid vain thing. And they're just so trapped in that way. That it's like talking to a brick wall. You can't get through. So how is the Most High going to get through? He's going to bring a sledgehammer and he's going to smash that brick wall. Verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know, my people doth not consider. So why don't they know? Because they don't consider. Why do they lack knowledge? Because they hate knowledge. You know? You try to give them the truth, they don't want to hear it. You try to you try to speak the words of life onto them, they don't want to hear it. You tell them, okay, so explain what's going on in the world right now. Oh, I don't know. So if you don't know that, how the hell you know that what we're teaching is wrong? How the hell can you be an expert when you can't explain shit? All you know how to do is tell people what, what isn't. But you don't know how to tell people what is. You got a lot of expert mighty teachers out there who just don't know how to teach, apparently. You know, they'll come and they'll say some shit and you tell them saying, no, no, actually it's this. Let me teach you. Let me sit your ass down. You know, let me, let me, let me, let me, you know, let me draw the boat. <laughs> you know, they'll teach you. But okay, well, if you're this, if you're such a great teacher, the spirit is dealing with you, you know, all of that. So guess, look, 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 why teach me? I believe what I believe. I'm already teaching. So why don't you go out there and establish yourself and go and teach others? Because you're wasting your time over here. I'm not going, I'm, I'm trying to help you out. But if you don't want to receive it, don't turn around and try to get me to receive whatever you try to give out. <laughs> you know, and you know what? At the end of the day, you can only get so mad because the Lord designed it that way. But when the judgment comes, and that's going to be, that's going to be the infuriating thing as well. When the judgment comes, you're going to have people scrambling left and right. The same people that are shit talking now. Nah, when it happens, I... Psh. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I ain't going to be calling on no Yahweh. You know, I ain't going to be doing that shit. 
How the hell you know that? Because a lot of you were the same ones who said, I ain't going to take that, that, I ain't going to take that juice or that V. Then your dumb asses turn around and take it. So it's, it, see, talking is cheap. And Jake are the cheapest people on the planet Earth. They, they love talk. You know, I, I, I ain't going to do this. I ain't going to do that. You don't know what the hell. You don't even know if you're going to wake up tomorrow. You know? And, and, and so if you don't want the ways of life, then the Most High is going to give you death. He's only going to answer your request. If you don't want the ways of life, the Most High, Haobah Shem Yahushai, is going to kill you. That's it. People think he's he's all lovey-dovey, all fun and games. Yahweh kills. The Most High kills. That's 1 Samuel 2 and 6. All right, Isaiah 45 and 7. The Lord kills. Who do you think kills babies? Who do you think kills old people? Who do you think, when people die, you, you ask a Christian, does the Most High kill? Oh, no, 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 Most High don't kill. Oh, yeah? Okay, so the, the, the boy that got, you know, those, those three students that got shot up, did, did the Most High know that was going to happen? Oh, yeah, he knew that was going to happen. Does the Most High control everything? Oh, of course he does. He's the Most High. He, he, he wouldn't be the Most High if he didn't. So did the Most High sanction that happening? I, I, I see what you're doing there. I see what you I mean, if you put it like that, then... Because cause he, he controls everything, so... And, and that happened, so I... I, I, I mean, he, he... He just... He does things. That's the, that's the bullshit they're going to tell you. He does things. He does things. The Most High... You know, they'll say one thing here... Then you say, okay, since you said this, let's apply what you said to real life. Let's 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 apply what you said and make it practical. And then when you do that, then they, no, really, what I meant to say was this and and, 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 and this and that. The Most High doesn't want to laugh right now. He wants to appease his wrath. That's what he wants. And the shit is just every single day. It's just every single day is some vexation. Everywhere you look, you turn around and Jake is just Jake, Jake, Jake. Doing stupid shit. It, 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 man, some days it's just like, oh, Lord, man, why? Like, this shit is crazy, man. Like, oh, my goodness, it's crazy. And, and it's like you can't escape it. Everywhere you look. And that's why the scriptures say that just Lot was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Because you're living in the midst of wickedness. And then, and then Jake loves to be wicked. <laughs> Let's keep reading. So um, Isaiah 1, verse 4. It says, Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers. How the hell have you turned from the holy ones, the, 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 the princes of the power, to a seed of evildoers, to the point where you're worse than the wicked himself? It says, children that are corruptors, that have forsaken the Lord, that have provoked the Holy One of Israel onto anger, that are going away backward. And you've pissed off the wrong, I mean, you just, you just, you just, you pissed off the wrong one, and you're continuing to piss him off in, in his wrath. And suddenly shall the wrath of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai come forth. And you know what? As scared and terrified as we may be to witness it, we're still going to be thanking the Lord, praising the Lord that he's bringing it to come to pass because it is necessary. It has to happen. The world cannot go on like this. It cannot. It absolutely cannot. So you are delusional if you think you got five to ten years here. What 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 is going to be going on in five to ten years? What in the world do you actually want to be happy? What? And then that stupid ass question of, well, where do you see yourself in, in 10 years from now? Oh my gosh, what do you want to be doing? Do you want a house? Do you want to... I don't want a damn house. I want the kingdom. I don't the problem that, that people don't understand is they think, oh, money or, 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 or riches, or that's not gonna solve the problem. The problem is this world. The problem is this shit. The problem is Esau being in power. The problem ain't money. All right. Because you could give us all the money in the world and we still wouldn't be comfortable. We still wouldn't be happy with it. <sighs> you know, you get a new house, you get this, you get that, you get whatever the hell you want to get. You're going to turn around and still see Jake doing the stupid shit they're doing, right? Esau's still going to be doing what he's doing. You're still going to die. Your wife is still going to commit adultery. 
right? You're still going to have the curses upon us. So riches are not going to help you escape this problem. Isaiah chapter 1, continuing at verse 5. Why should ye be stricken any more? Ye will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faints. So what, what do you do with somebody whose infection is spread all the way throughout their body? There's nothing more you can do for them. They need to, they need to go. All right? They need to go. They got to be, they got to be put down. They got to be put to death. All right? And that's exactly what, you know, that's exactly what the Lord is going to do. Yeah, now they, they, they want to escape to this metaverse thing. It, it doesn't stop. And it's just so, it's just like, it's so, oh man, man, it's just, it's crazy, man. Isaiah 1, continuing verse 6, from the sole of the, from the sole of the foot, even onto the head, there is no soundness in it, but wounds and bruises and putrefying sores. They have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. And that's why you see Jake in the condition you see them in today. They look, Jake, as a nation, looks disgusting. All right? As a nation, Jake looks disgusting. From the babies, to the women, to the men, to all of it. And I'm talking about these wicked Israelites. When you look at them past the appearance, and you look at just the energy they walk around with, it's absolutely disgusting. It's repulsive. It repels you. You don't want to be around them, you know, because you, you could just look at a certain nigga, you know, and you're just going to you're going to feel that 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 repulsive, demonic energy oozing off of them. Everywhere you go, Jake is, you know, you got certain Israelites just got demons on them just in the middle of the night in the cold, just running around yelling shit. You know, there's this dirt, you know, you turn around and you literally just see garbage around. You know, in some places you look out your window and there's a cemetery. And, and you're just there like, yo, this is where you live. This is where you sleep. This is where you wake up. This is what you wake up to. How You ain't you ain't waking up singing upon your bed. You're not singing psalms and you're not happy waking up. Because you wake up and it's just another repeat of the same bullshit. Whether it's going to work or going to school, whatever the hell it is you got to do, you got to get out your house. You got to see the same grimy ass neighbors, you know, you, <laughs> you got to come back and struggle for the same dumb ass, whack ass parking. You know, you still got to see the, the garbage and shit. You got to hear the loud mouth nigga woman on the phone cursing out whoever the hell she's cursing out. The, the neighborhood hole in the corner somewhere. It's just the same thing. And it, it's just it gets to the point where it just becomes like you're oblivious to it because you, you see it so much. You're like, yep. Yeah, this going to be destroyed. This going to be destroyed. That going to be destroyed. Because that's the only thing you can really think of to just just get through it. Because if you stop and really look at it, knowing, and that's why the scriptures say with much uh, um, uh, knowledge, roughly paraphrasing, comes grief, right? If you increase in knowledge, you're going to increase in sorrow. Because you're going to, you're going to, you know better, but you're seeing worse. And you're just, and it's just all around you. And it doesn't stop. And that's why Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is going to have to kill. And that's why, Lord willing, the judgment and the, the hell breaking loose and all of that comes very soon. You know, because this, this is ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 22. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity, simplicity and scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge? Because when you're telling somebody sound information and they're replying to you with stupid shit and you're sitting back like, how, before you said that, did it make sense in your head for you to say something like that? You know, like, <laughs> did, did, you, did you try to process the, the response before saying it? How, how do you sit there? I, I, it's like, how do you... The mind of a nigga. That's like that's like a that's like a mystery, a dark, dark, dark mystery of of uh, insanity. The same thing, expecting a different outcome. <laughs> it's crazy, man, that you can see these devils come and tell you that hey, we're planning on making it so unless you allow us to put some shit you don't know into you, we're just gonna terrorize you. We're gonna lock you up in some camps. We're going to forbid you from working. We're going to take your children away from you. 
And 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 Jake is seeing all this, but yet prophecies ain't real. You know, I'ma still go, you know, do whatever the hell I want to do because life is all good. And acting like just last year you weren't locked down, right? Talking all, you know, all of this. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's mesmerizing in the negatives. It's, it's mind boggling. So continuing in Proverbs 1, verse uh, 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit onto you. I will make known my words unto you. So how is the Most High making known his words onto you? Through the prophets. That's how he's always worked. And if you want, look, what do you, how shall I say? If you won't believe me, believe me for the very work's sake. Because that you can't deny. You want to go back and forth about genealogies and histories and so, okay, cool, whatever. But how do you refute the prophecies? You, 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 you can't refute the prophecies. Why, why is nobody else telling us what's happening? Ain't nobody, no other religious group is telling you what's happening. Come and show us in your Quran where it says all these things and what are we supposed to do? You got to lead a righteous life. What, what, you know, what are we supposed to do? How are we, are we supposed to take it? Are we supposed to not take it? Are we supposed to comply? Are we supposed to not comply? Is it going to get better? Is it going to get worse? What do we do? Do we just sit here? You know, do, do we, do we pray to Mary? Like, what do we do? And no, and everybody's shut. Nobody got anything to say. Because they don't know. But yeah, when we come out and tell you, well, according to the scriptures, what's happening, that's right here. You know? And then, uh, let me see that shit. They, they're looking through, and, and he, she calls it Poel. He's making red. He, so you're saying that this is, they, that's going to prepare us for the, then they look at it, then, man, this shit makes sense, though. No, 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 that's not what it is. No, you, you, you're reading into it too much. You're doing too much. That's not what it is. Get out of here. I ain't know what it is. Damn, it could really, really could be what it is, but I, I can't, I can't be saying that right now. And then they go about just, it's, it's crazy. It, 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 I think uh, Apostle Gabar is the one who said this. He said, "Look, you got angels that are literally around, and the same way they, they put certain information into our minds. When, when the word goes out, the reason these people can't receive it is because they, 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 they block it. They, they block these people's ears. Like you ain't, you ain't the spiritual ears. That is, you know, that you're not gonna receive that." So we can, we're, we're, we're literally, look, you see that right there? That, that's this. Look, this, that, this, that. Do you see it? Huh? No, no, no. We got to pray to our ancestors, bro. We got to put fried chicken on the table. If you like fried chicken, put fried chicken on the table. You know? Oh, ancestor Thomas Jacobson. You know, I, I remember he, he had a, a comb that he left me from three years ago. And, you know, I'm going to just. Put that on there as well. What the hell are you going to ask your ancestors to do? You know what they, your relatives are doing? They in the spirit were like, oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. You know? <laughs> they're looking down, and they're just looking at you like, oh. Because they see, they know what the truth is. So they're looking down at you like, oh, this nigga here. He about to get me funny. <laughs> about to get me messed up. Talk about some offering. And the hell you want to offer shit to me for? Nigga, if I couldn't deliver myself from dying... What the hell am I? What the hell am I gonna do for for you from the spirit world? You know, like the most, <laughs> you you gonna bypass the Most High, you gonna bypass Yahweh Shai, but you want to come to me? D did I create the spirit world? Because I can't I can't control death. I go there when I die. So so why why wouldn't you pray to some, the one who actually made all of that? And then and you sit down and you say, yo, this shit really doesn't make sense. These people are really delusional. But these are the same people who turn around and call us delusional. But everything we say is practical. And, and, and we know the Most High is with us. And he's going to show it. Second Ezra is the 16th chapter. Then shall they be known who am I chosen. A man shall be more precious than fine gold. And that's why we, man, no willing we be of the elect. When that time comes, the kind of energy we're going to be giving to people, man, you're you going to think we're a bunch of assholes. You're going to think that because you treated us like assholes when you be, you were assholes to us. When we try to give you the word, when we try to tell you, don't go that way, come this way, because this is the way walk ye in it. This is the truth. If you go that way, you're going to be destroyed. How did you treat us for that? 
you know, made, made, made mockery, slander, insulted, everything in the book, right? And all we were trying to do is tell you, look, if you go that way, you're going to be destroyed. So don't do that. Do this. That's what the Heavenly Father said. But no, no, we were, we were the worst thing in all of existence. We are, the, we are a terrible hate group because we're telling our people to stop doing wickedness. You telling our people to stop doing wickedness makes you a hate group? You telling them who the wicked is makes you a hate group? So why the hell should we want to help you out when you're in trouble? The, the only help we could have offered was warning you. Did you take heed? If you didn't, then that's on you. That's absolutely on you. And we have no obligation to try and help you out whatsoever. Um... Uh, Proverbs 1, continuing at verse 23, he says, Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known, known my words unto you. Because I have called. And the Most High is not going to open the skies with, a, with them, them little loudspeakers and, and start talking to you. He's going to speak to you the way he's always spoken to the world. It's through his, the mouth of his prophets. It says here, verse 24, But I have called and ye refused. You hear that? I have, imagine, how the hell does that sound? The most high called and you refused. You refused. Like, you, you the hell are you to refuse the most high? But Jake do it all the time. Right? I have called and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. So, <laughs> like, they acted as though, and, and the perfect example is when they walk by us, like, we don't exist. That's an example of the Most High stretching out his hand. And it says no man regarded. Not like you even turn. You didn't even give it a second thought. You didn't even turn to say, to see it. You acted like it wasn't there. You disregarded it. You know, and, I, and yo, there's times when you'll be out there and, you know, a brother will be like, you know, you might have somebody passing by. Then you just ask him, you know, you got time for the Bible? And some some fat beast walking by was talking about some Oh, nah, nah, I, I'm hungry. I got to go eat. You know, I don't got time for that. Right now, I'm going to McDonald's. I want me some McDonald's. McDonald's? You want McDonald's? <laughs> you just passed salvation for McDonald's? So, now, when you read in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter, and it tells you about how they, they, uh, uh, like, they, they, they repented, and they were vexed, and all of that. See, one of those things is going to be, I chose McDonald's over the Lord. That's the title right there. I chose McDonald's over salvation. And now and now the Lord says, I'm going to starve to death as my judgment. And you're going to sit there and say, the difference between me eating and me starving, which I'm starving right now, is because I chose McDonald's. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Man, man, this shit is ridiculous, man. This shit is like, just thinking about it, it just, it wows you. Yeah, I sold my soul for a happy me. It wows you. Like, oh shit. Like we really, <laughs> we really in captivity right now. You got Jake just going around doing, here it is, the Lord has revealed the truth to us. He's making himself known to us. And Jake is just 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 follied up. Shot up, masked up, follied up, getting ready to be, you know, you know. And that's why the Lord called them simple. You know? So it says, uh, Verse 25, but ye have said it not all my counsel and would none of my reproof. I will also laugh at your calamity. See, that's fair. No, that's absolutely fair. The most high gets to laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. And you know why? Because the most high knows exactly what you fear the most. You, you fear you fear being raped? Well, get ready. They got a, There's a whole gang waiting for you, right? When you cut that corner. You know, you fear, you fear tigers, you fear hyenas, you fear, you fear, uh, 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 um, uh, bugs. Most of them might just have a freaking, uh, uh, um, what they call them, a roach, you know, or a rat the size of a freaking car. Just, just look, you know, you turn the corner and that shit looking at you. And you know them rats, man, them rats, because they're small, you may, you know, even, even though they're small, you still got people that are shook up and running away and shit. But you see a big ass rat. You know, like like a big rat, and he he said, "Fuck, fuck, walking on all fours." I'm getting up. He boom, he stands up, and you looking at me standing up tall, looking like a whole human being. 
you know, looking at you eye to eye and his two long teeth and his whiskers and shit and his eyes go all red. He's coming for your ass. So you scared of rats? The most high, and, and, but that'll be comedy for the most high. Here it is. Who would have thought? You running away, you turn around, there's a there's an actual big ass rat <laughs> like chasing your ass. And this rat is actually gonna kill you, it's gonna devour you. What you you think that's that's too far-fetched for the most high to do? <laughs> you and then the Lord's the scripture says it's gonna be a time like never before. The Lord said he has spirits created for vengeance. And and those spirits are 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 they're like itching. They're like, Lord, just let me let me get them, man. Yo, bad though, let me. And the Lord's like, no, no, calm down. It's all right. Because it says in their fury, they lay on sore strokes. And their goal is to appease the wrath of him that made them. So these, these, these wild beasts newly created, these death angels, their sole purpose and desire is if the Most High says, I got to torture, I want to torture you to the point where the Most High is, is, is beyond happy. Most houses I gotta kill, I'm gonna kill as many to the point where it's been, you know, and don't crop that out, Esau, because I'm speaking in the perspective of a deaf angel. All right. But that's that's how they think. How can I do what pleases the Lord the most? <laughs> Look, man, I'm telling you, when this shit goes down, we are gonna be so glad, Lord willing, we're of the elect that we that we we had this, we have this truth, and that we remain in this, man. Because when everybody else is bugging out. And we're calm, or when everybody else is starving and we're fed, and everybody else is afraid, but the Lord is protecting us, it's gonna be real exclusive. It's gonna be real exclusive. And when it's all said and done, and the dust clears, and the Lord puts crowns upon our heads, and puts scepters in our hands, and our eyes are glowing, and we got spiritual power, and we're in new bodies, and we have rule over the earth. Ain't nobody going to say shit then. Absolutely nothing. And we believe that. As, as, as the prophet Ezra saw, we believe that. So you know what? That's okay. We're going to continue what we believe. It's okay for you to believe what you believe, but when we believe what we believe, that's a problem. The Most High is going to kill a lot of you, man. Yahweh Hashem is going to put... He, He's, that's why it says it's going to be like a drop compared to a wave because the Lord is getting ready to kill mass, mass depopulation. That's what the Lord is getting ready to do. That sword is being sharpened and it's only a matter of time before it gets put to good use. And once it gets put to good use, it's not going to stop. All right. There's going to be massive killing and death going all around left, right, left, right, left, right. And that's what we're trying to warn you people about. But everybody just wants to debate. It's about whether I'm right or wrong, whether I'm right or you wrong. That's not, bro, you don't get, do you understand that, it, that when you find out that you're wrong, you're going to die. You know that, right? <laughs> like if the Lord doesn't have mercy on you, this ain't going to be, oh, oh, hey, bro, I'm going to come see you a week later and tell you, hey, you know what? You are right, bro. It's all right. I'm going to give you this one. No. All right. Um, Proverbs 1 and 27. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. And you got people that just say, oh, I just know, I just know when that time comes, I ain't going to be calling on no, no, what, what are you talking about? I ain't going to be doing that. But they're going to get so desperate that they're going to dare to open their mouth to try and imitate what we are doing. Saying that they call upon that God, it's, it's working. And I've tried everything else and nothing is working. Let me try calling upon that God. And you just try, and that's going to be like a trigger word. And the second you do it, boom, the Lord's going to, he's going to jack your ass up so bad. Because you calling upon the same God that you said didn't exist. You calling upon the same God that we were stupid for believing in, right? You calling upon the same God that you made fun of his name. You've done you've you've done nothing but disrespected the Lord. You've disrespected the Lord. You've disrespected His Son. You've disrespected the angels. You've disrespected us. You've disrespected His Word. But when you're in trouble, you're gonna turn around and call upon that same God you've been disrespecting this whole time. 
and you expect him to come with open arms and a freaking mini skirt on to come and serve you? So it says, um, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own doing and be filled with their own devices. So you're going to get whatever you give. You're going to reap what you sowed. You're going to pay for everything you've said, for everything you've done. You're going to pay for it because the Most High is not going to let you escape. You are going to pay. Each and every last one of you. And I hope and pray that, Lord willing, we get exempt from that judgment. But everybody else is going to pay. And it's going to be by blood. So don't even try to come at us. We, we're not the ones you got to fear. You try to frame us and, and put the, all this propaganda out there. We're not the ones you got to fear because we ain't going to be doing it. It's the Most High that's going to be doing it. So you try putting a label on the Most High. Go up there. Go up there. Go put some handcuffs on him. You know, go grab Archangel Michael. Take a mugshot of him. Tuck his wings behind him. Tell him, turn around to the side. All right, let's get that. Okay, let's get your face. Put the handcuffs on him. Put the orange jumpsuit on him. And then tell him that you're going to sentence him to life in prison. Go, go, go try that shit over there and see what happens to you. You know, everything is just so out of course. Verse, tw verse 32, for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me, who and who is the me? Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Ain't nobody else. Yahweh, in the name of Yahweh Shai. Not Yehoshua, not Jehovah, not Jesus, not anything else but Yahweh in the name of of Yahweh Shai. That's the me. That's the one you hearken on to. And it says, But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. So you're not going to be seeing us jumping out there on some Captain Save a Hole type shit. Somebody's going, to, somebody's going through judgment and you're just going to jump out there like, Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh Lord, hold up. I'm, let me be the mediator. I know she's been wicked, but come on, she's a woman. What? <laughs> What? You know what I'm saying? What? Man, you must want to die. Like, yo, man. Um, Ezekiel 33, verse um, 30. And it says, Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses, and speak one to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord. So they're going to come and listen. They're going to hear it. Verse 31. And, and they come unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. So you, so, but here's the thing though. The job is done. Once you hear the word, the job is done. That's the warning. You hearing the word, whether you will hear or forbear, your blood is off our hands. And, you know, sometimes it's just like, boy, man, it says here, um, but they will not do them. It says, but they will not do them for with their mouth, they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness and they and, and, and they covet everything that's against what the Lord said to do. Now, you may have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. Well, that's why we're here to, to, to give you the knowledge. See, but but when you when you start bucking up and you don't want to receive it, that's okay. We're not gonna force anything on you. You know, we ain't gonna force the truth upon you. We ain't gonna no, because we understand that you know what, for you to receive it, the Lord has to open up your eyes to it. So if, if we try to force it, that would be trying to go against what the Lord has set up. You may not receive it now, but hey, sometime in the future, the Lord might open your eyes to it. But the thing about it is. You telling some and, and and that's and really that's mercy. And you got people. Oh, I, nah, I don't see it now, but I don't want to see it. <laughs> oh shit, really? You sure? See, those are words. Those are words that are gonna come back and bite you real hard in the ass, man. They're gonna bite you in the toes, the ass, the kneecaps. 
I don't want, I don't see it now, but I don't want to see it. <laughs> you know, or, or I don't believe in your God. I don't want to believe in your God ever. But you know what's going to happen? When all hell starts breaking loose, you're going to want to believe in our God. You, you're going to want to, you're going to want to see it then. No, I, no, you're going to want to see it then. No, no, no. You're going to want to see it. Because when you've gone five days with no food, no water, you're going to want to see it. When your children are getting beaten with a baseball bat, like in, uh, for those who've seen The Walking Dead, spoiler alert, but I mean, this is a pretty old season, where they killed Rick's son in front of him, right? I, I believe they, no, I, I, if I'm mistaken, I think they killed him or, or they, they took out one of his eyes or some shit. I forgot what it was, but they basically had him on their knees and they, they was killing him. And I know they killed one of the other characters, Glenn. No, when you're in a situation like that, where you tied up and you got to watch a freaking maniac with a mask on, grab your child, your son or your daughter and take a barbed wire baseball bat and just hit them in the head until they don't, they, they don't twitch anymore. And you're screaming, no, no, please stop them. Please, I'm begging you, I'll do whatever. And that's not happening. And you can see a child looking at you in their last moments, calling your name for help, daddy or mommy or whatever. You're gonna want to see it then, right? You ain't, you ain't gonna want you ain't gonna be there talking about oh I don't want to see it no more. You're gonna be sitting there hoping that if there's any way you you're gonna be saying in your mind if there's anything that I can do to 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 not stop this from happening I'll do it. Wait hold on time out rewind bring the taste back. Pause. Show show him a clip of his big black lips talking about some. If I don't see it now I want to see it. You're going to see it. Hey, the most I might have it play back in your mind. Where you thinking, Lord, please, no, whatever, whoever's out there, please, if there's something I can do, you know, please, I will do it. And then the flashback comes into your mind. I ain't never, I don't want to see it. Right? I don't want to see it. I don't want to believe in no Yahweh. What the hell is that? Y'all believe in a, in a man coming from the sky. Y'all believe in a book written by the white man. All this extra shit. It's going to keep playing right back in your mind. Ooh, like looping and shit. And you're going to be saying, you know what? That's when that little sliver of hope you may have had disappears. And the only thing that's left is regret. And you know why you're going to regret it? You're going to regret it because you're going to know that now there's literally no room for mercy. If at first you thought there was a little bit of room, there's no room for mercy now. Because you, you closed that door when you talked your shit. When you thought it was just words. When you were comfortable enough to talk shit against the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, that's when you sealed your fate. Because every tongue shall confess and you're going to give an account. And when you're going through it, whether the Lord has you tied up somewhere and there's rats eating your face through your eyeballs out, you know, or you end up in a concentration camp because that's what these quarantine centers are going to turn into, concentration camps, where they're going to try to re-educate you. Now, what happens when they try to re-educate you, but you don't want to get educated? They need to use forceful means. So when you find yourself in a concentration camp and during... Them, them scenes out of Saw, Saw games, right? They're doing, you know, they, 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 they cutting off your, pulling out your fingernails, putting a centipede into your ear, you know, and just doing shit, scalping you, putting needles under your nails, pushing that shit. You know, I saw, I saw that on a TV one time. They had a dude tied up, and they numbed him, and then they, they, they put sharp needles under his nails. And then when he came back to his senses, he woke up, he was cuffed and he saw it. And then the lady told him, look, look, sir, in about five minutes, the numbness is going to wear off and you're going to feel a sudden rush of pain from all your 10 fingers from the needles that have been jammed in there that you didn't feel when we jammed them in there. So you about to be in for some shit. All right. Now, I bet you when you're in a situation like that, you're going to want to see it then. But you know what? Jake doesn't think about that. When Jake is talking their shit, they don't think about that. They don't think I'm. A, they don't think about what if I find myself in a situation where whatever I'm saying now comes back to bite me in the ass. What? 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 What about that? They don't think. Jake don't think. They just do. <laughs> like that. Like brute beast. They just do because they don't. They don't think ahead. They don't think of consequences. They don't think of how, 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 what if it comes back to bite me in the ass? And when the Lord starts putting people to death, pride, pride is nowhere to be found. 
they get quiet. You can hear a freaking pen drop, a, a, a needle drop. But let's keep going in Ezekiel 33. Um, verse 32, it says, And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. You know, because it's like, it's like, uh, uh, it's fun. It's entertainment. It's fun. It's fun for them. You know, they just look, oh, it's, it's, it's entertaining. But, but to actually believe it, I ain't going to do that. Verse 33 says, when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. So when the lamentations, the woes, the destruction, the prophecies, when these, because them, them prophecies are worldwide events. Prophecies are world, these, these ones, these last few ones are worldwide events that are going to affect everybody. Everybody's going to see it. So now when those worldwide events start taking place, as it says, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet has been among them. And then Amos 8 and 11, you're going to be looking because you're going to know that these men were the prophets. And then you're going to realize how stupid you were. But at that point, it's going to be too late for a lot of you. It's going to be too late for a lot of you, man. And you're going to see a painful, painful, painful demise. A painful demise. Because when it starts happening, it's going to be too late to escape it. If the Lord hasn't already cut you a ticket, he hasn't already put you in his book of mercy. And, and, and yo, let me say this, man. For those that, that the Lord has mercy on in the last minute, and he decides to forgive them and open up their eyes to see it, you are extremely blessed. All right? Whoever you may be, you are extremely blessed. Because for you to, I mean, we're all extremely blessed for, for us to do the th things we've done in our past and then the Lord deliver and wake us up. But for at the last minute for the Lord to say, you know what? I'm still going to have mercy on you. That That is, man, that is a, that is a high level of mercy, man. Because <laughs> with the shit that's, man, man, death really, really, we're all de deserving of death and nothing less. And that's why Yahweh Shai, what he did is so important. You know, that's why what Yahweh Shai did was so important. All right? No, 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 no. You know, that's why what he did was so important. That's why we get so upset when people try to downplay or discredit what Yahweh Shai went through. Because you, you being put to death in that manner. In that manner. Now, Lord could have said, look, I'm going to behead you. That's quicker. But the manner in which Yahweh Shai was, was put to death was by crucifixion. Painful. Painful, painful crucifixion. Through betrayal. And through uh, 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 treachery and lies. Knowing he was innocent. Right? Of what they accused him of. So for him to go through all of that so that we can have a way and then for somebody to turn around and try to downplay that or disprove that, the Most High is going to put you to death. Because not only was it hard for your house shot, but imagine the Most High saying, look, because you stupid dumbasses, I'm going to send my son back and put him through all of this. You know, I'm going to put him through all of this for your asses. And I, and then I, I sacrificed my son and he sacrificed himself so that 2,000 years later, you can open your mouth and talk shit. And I'm supposed to sit here and laugh with you? Come back and give you hugs and kisses? Yeah, how was I supposed to sit there and say, I went through all of this for these people and they turn around, this is the shit they're doing? I literally left. It hasn't been, it hasn't been 5,000. It's only been some, you know, and, and this is the shit that they're doing. So that's why, that's why the, the most I say, hey, look, don't worry. It's all right. I got a plan. You're going to get your elect and then the rest, they're done. That's it. At the end of the day, that's it, man. That's it. So you know how the most is going to get his respect? He's going to, and how everybody's going to shut the hell up and realize, yo, you know what? This is what it is. He's going to kill. He, the Lord is just going to be, it's just going to be brutal deaths to the point where you ain't going to stop to try and reason. Oh, oh, that's a sign. Oh shit. He, the way his head got cut off is really a sign from 
Krishna. You know, because really what she meant to say was you could get decapitated if you don't. Ain't nobody going to be trying to decipher shit. <laughs> it's going to be so so chaotic, so much scrambling going on. You, you're not going to be trying to decipher things. You're just going to be quiet, hoping somebody can tell you, hey, let's go here or hey, let's do this. And I can't wait. And that's why Isaiah 4 and 1 is a heavy prophecy as well. Because Isaiah 4 and 1 represents a great humbling. Why? Because women are the proudest that they've ever been. So for them to have to come, come in that spirit of Isaiah 4 and 1, it's going to be a proud, I mean, it's going to be a great humbling. Okay? And how is that humbling going to come about? Through death. Through fear, through anguish, through lamentations, through tribulation, through hardships, through suffering. That is how the humility is going to come about. And it's going to stay from then on out. So may Yahweh Hashem Yahushai continue to speed, speed up these days and let these prophecies come to pass. So Lord willing, we don't have to endure this much longer. Because, no, just no words. <laughs> You know, that's how ridiculous it is, man. You know, and, and we want the Lord to get his due glory. And for and for, for people to stop trying to give the, the glory of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai to another. But you know what? The Lord got signed for all their asses too. So with that, I'm going to end it here. The water for all the precepts. Salaki, I really, you know, I, I couldn't really get to them like that. But hey, Lord willing, you were edified. Continue to pray for fewer days, man. You know, and pray for patience, pray for the spirit of diligence, you know, and pray that Lord willing, the Lord has mercy on us and we get delivered out of here. Because the judgment that's to come, trust me, you do not want to partake in that. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Until next time, Shalom.